Okay, let's show you the setup we have. Um, on the right is a BeagleBoard Wireless Black. And this little module right here is interesting. It's called a Neo 6M uh, GPS module. Uh, it's identical to the one that you find in your tablets and cell phones that basically gives you your uh, location. Um, the little board above it is something called an MPU 6050. Uh, it's basically a uh, boilerplate uh, 6DOF uh, inertial board. It has uh, three accelerometers at XYZ and uh, three gyroscopes at XYZ axis. Okay, now what we've done is we basically hooked up the power um, right here. Uh, this is ground. This is ground. And this is power. Okay. And you'll notice that they uh, go into the P9, not the P8, the P9. Uh, when the board is in this orientation, uh, the uh, P9 is here, and the P8 is here. Always remember that. Also, also remember that the Beagle board is natively 3.3 volts. Okay. Okay. So what we've done is we've hooked up the power here and here. Okay, to the power rails on our breadboard, right here. Okay, uh, you'll notice that the uh, at the top uh, module isn't connected currently. Um, I wasn't sure how much current I could actually draw off the Beagle board, uh, so I just decided to do one. Uh, I figured that a Beagle board will power a cape, so it should power this. Okay, so we bring power in. Uh, these two here, uh, ground and uh, and plus 3.3 uh, volts, and we have a transmit and a receive via UART via these two cables or uh, wires here. Okay. Then we just take it over these two to the appropriate pins on the Beagle board. Uh, and it is uh, set up for UART 1 transmit and UART 1 receive. So that's the end of our presentation. Uh, well, check out the light. Uh, what the light indicates, uh, according to the reference manual, is that it's periodically sending information over the uh, serial to the Beagle board, and every time it does so, it blinks. So it looks like we're good uh, hardware-wise for now.